Circus Circus will be leading the pack for the final heat. Chip Hanauer driving that boat. He's got two consecutive heat wins. Same story for the Miss Budweiser, Jim Kropfeld. He has two wins. The defending champion, George Woods Jr., driving Jim Harvey's Oh boy, Oberto. Hulse at Miss Madison, Mike Hansen, the new driver to the boat, would like to get a win. And Mr. Pringles, Scott Pierce, Bill Worcester's boat. Oh, they would love nothing more than to take a win out here today. He has won in Miami before. So let's see now as the boats start jockeying for position. And Jim, this has got to be the most important time in the race. This is the time that you want to psych the competition out. Sometimes you play tag. I've known drivers to hide in the rooster tail of another boat so that the boat on the other side couldn't see where he is. I've seen the infamous Bill Muncie go way upstream and then come down in a streaming start in Detroit back in 1981. This is a very important start because the clock is now out. The five minute gun has fired. The clock starts counting down for five minute mark. Each driver has their own stopwatch or maybe a, a stopwatch mounted on the dashboard. They are synchronized times in the bits given by the driver's rep. They know when they start. If they jump the clock, they have to start a lap back because they officially haven't started. So in, in essence, they've been penalized a lap. Now look at how they peel off right now. One will head for corner number three. The other one stays around the apex. Then he'll start to move up and accelerate because he sees, well, he's up there. I want to be there. This is a psych period, believe me. And it's also a test period when they find out the type of water conditions that exist on the course just before they start the race. A lot of guys will take a chance at the clock and see just how long it takes them from a certain point on the course to reach the starting line because the idea is to have the nose of the hydroplane on the start line as the final second ticks off. And if you are on time, you're in good position, you have a shot at getting into the first turn clean. Here's the holes of Miss Madison. Problems there. That's a disappointment for Mike Hansen and that volunteer crew from Madison, Indiana, and all the 13,000 owners in the town of Madison, Indiana. Let's establish lanes as they get ready for the start here. It looks like Budweiser's going to go into lane number one. Circus, Circus, Chip Hanauer right now in lane two. This is coming out from the center of the course on your screen. Mr. Pringles now has moved up in lane number three. Look at him go. He's leading on the pack. On the outside, it's oh boy, Oberto. George Woods Jr., he's fell, fallen back just a hair. But as they come down, look closely now as Circus Circus starts to take it. He was really either on it or he may have jumped, Jim. He was right on time for the start, and I couldn't tell whether the gun went off after he went over the line or before, but we'll check on that and see what happened. In unlimited hydroplane racing, the gun is really not important. It's not official. It's just for effect. It's the clock that's important. As they come down now in lane number one, it's Miss Budweiser coming down the back chute. On his hip is the Circus Circus, and right behind him is Mr. Pringles, and look! Here's Chip and our side-by-side. Side. He's going to give Jim Kropfeld and the Budweiser a side-by-side -side battle right off the bat as they hang it on the hook. Well, the final heat produces what everybody's been waiting for all day, and that's oh. the battle. Wait a minute, Budweiser hooks slightly on the turn down there, but he got power right back to it. Chip Hanauer tried to power on, got light on it. Now he's coming up and going to take advantage of that hook by the Budweiser. It is now Circus Circus in the lead as they go down again to corner number one. Look how light Circus Circus is coming into the turn. He holds tight on his lane. That means Jimmy Kropfeld holds tight on the inside. Kropfeld is managing to power on a little bit more. He's taking the lead coming out of the turn, but let's watch as Circus Circus tries to slingshot, hitting at full speed on the back straightaway. As they come down the corner number three, once again on his hip, Jim Kropfeld can look to his right to see that pink boat, the Circus Circus, giving battle as they hit the apex of corners three and four to come down and complete lap number two. Look at the bounce through there. Jim Kropfeld holds his lane, going a little wide this time as the Circus Circus So. Kropfeld gets a little more distance as he comes down to corner number one for the third time on lap number three. 128.379 miles per hour for the lead boat at this moment. The lead boat is the Miss Budweiser, but just a matter of a split second off him is Circus Circus. And there you can see the boats as they divide on the turn from our helicopter shot. Miss Budweiser, Jimmy Kropfeld. This was the course where he had that near tragic accident last year and spent the rest of the year on the sidelines with his head in a halo. He is now battling, trying to hold on to the lead. Circus Circus trying to move back up in there. Chip is tending to get a little bit light on that backstretch, and I think he is very aware of his horizon at this point. They're coming down now to complete lap number three. It's Budweiser by about a second and a half. 
as the Circus Circus comes in lane number two and gives chase. Chip Hanauer got the Miss Budweiser in his sights as they come down in the start of lap number four with about two more laps to go. Not too far back is Mr. Pringles driven by Scott Pierce. 122.743 was the reading for the Miss Budweiser and now Budweiser is hooked again and this time Circus Circus really takes advantage of it. Chip Panauer has got his foot into it. He's got those little tiny rear view mirrors you can see on the side of the cockpit and he's looking back. He's got to know where he is. Third place Scott Pierce in the Mr. Pringles. And Jim we just got word. The word has come down to us that Chip Panauer and Circus Circus did indeed jump the gun at the start so he has been penalized one lap. That puts the Miss Budweiser with Jim Cropfell back in first place, but he's not running that well since that second hook, and the Mr. Pringles may challenge, as will the old boy Alberta with George Woods. This is George in third, going to challenge. Here it is, a new leader. Mr. Pringles takes over from the Miss Budweiser on next to the final lap as he hooks it around the corner. And also, the old boy Alberto is attempting to move up. What a change of events. This boat from third to first in one lap. And we have to remember, too, this was the boat that had all the problems earlier on. This was the turbine that was not running well. This has got to be a very disappointed driver right now. I don't know whether he's been told yet or not, but he will know momentarily that he is down one lap because of that early start. Here's your checkered flag out. It is out for Jeff presents Mr. Pringles. Scott Pierce takes the win in the Miami Regatta. He has got to be thrilled to death at this point. He had a very disappointing day, but it produced a beautiful flower at the end of it in the form of a championship.